ECDL Advanced Access Lesson 2 Database Development. Okay, in this lesson we're going to discuss the life cycle of a database. So it comprises various stages. The first and most important stage is the design, which has to be logical and take into account everything that the database is to be used for. Possible future development should also be considered. One way to design a database system is to define the output that is required from the system, then design the various components to achieve that result. Next is the creation of the database, that is, the setting up of tables, relationships, forms for data input, query definitions, and report definitions. Creating the database requires good technical knowledge of a database application. Once the basic structure has been created, the starting data must be input. This can be a very long process if it has to be done manually, but there are options to import data from other applications, as we'll discuss later on in this course. Once the database is running, it must be managed. A database is only useful if the integrity of the data is maintained. New information must be added, and obsolete data removed promptly. In a large database, a database administrator may be required to do this task. The database can then be interrogated and information retrieved via queries, forms and reports. Sometimes users are restricted to using only the components that are provided. Sometimes they'll be allowed to build their own queries, forms and reports. Now, in a large organisation, there may be different people for each of the stages that we've mentioned. However, in a small organisation, one person may have to do it all. OK, so we've had a little look at the life cycle of a database. As we continue through the section on database fundamentals, the next topics we'll be looking at are SQL, which is Structured Query Language, then we'll create a database, and then creating tables. Okay, I look forward to seeing you next time.